Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplayers and another Airsoft video. If many of you have watched some of my other Airsoft videos, you'll know I've been grumbling about the TAC vest. It really does restrict my movement, especially when I'm playing with the M4 and the DMR role. And you want to get prone and you get the bipod out and you want to pop some caps in a noob's head. It's really restrictive and the kit gets around your throat and you can't move. So hopefully what's in this bag We'll solve those problems. So here we have it. This is a Haley Strategic D3CR, and this is a limited edition multicam in Tropic color. And this is really designed and optimized to work in urban, vehicles, rural, and other confined settings, all part of the disruptive environment's chess rig setup. It's built to be worn as a standalone system with a detachable H harness or clipped onto an armor platform with a quick release system. So I've been looking for something that's a lot more slimline, that's going to give me a little bit, a bit more ease to get all the stuff I need in a smaller space and a less Less larger profile, if that makes sense, less bulk around the sides and more maneuverability so if I can get prone, I can get up quickly, move, run off and things like that. So this really does, hopefully, fulfill that need that I'm looking for and it also works perfectly if I want to go on the PMC look. So, not the cheapest of things, but let's get this, let's get all the goodies in here and have a look at this and I will compare it to my original attack vest. So here we are, you can see the tack vest that I've actually been running now with all the pouches on the front here, one, two, three, four, five. And we've actually got, how many have I got in there now? I've currently got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could actually get nine mags in that small one. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, in here, as you can see. This also has the commander's pouch and these two little pouches on the front here. Uh, and on the side here, I've actually got uh, a medical system in there, so bandages, plasters, you name it, just in case somebody takes a tumble, or even I take a tumble, so it is possible. And they also, this one, the tack vest, uh, plate carrier, should I say, has a place for the radio on the back, whereas this one doesn't. But as you can see, I've got some of the stuff in there with these quick release bungees to get things out, so I've got... You've got possibly room in here for, I don't know what you could put in there, you could possibly, if I put the camera down a minute, we could probably get a couple more mags in here, we could get some BBs, um, you could get your medical stuff in there really if you want to go small, you could get flashbangs in there, or your smokes, um, and because it's part of the molly system of course we can adjust all this and there is some molly system up there on the slings. So let's get this on and actually have a look at what it looks like to actually put this on and move around with the weapon. So excuse my gormless face while I look at the preview camera. But as you can see, very low profile around the back there. And there is actually another strap underneath the actual belt, which I haven't actually fastened around here. So that really is quite a secure setup. And as you can see, really is a low profile here. And I've got just as many, if not more magazines in here than I have actually in the plate carrier and tack vest. And this really is what I was wanting. I wanted to be able to move around quickly, get to stuff and put it back. Now, what you're about to see is, what you're going to have to learn as well, is how to get the stuff back in. And that's not the easiest thing you would think when you've actually got the face visor on, because it restricts being able to actually dip your head. So getting to learn your vest and how to put stuff in is really going to help you a lot. So here we have the plate carrier, or the tack vest that I've been running usually. It looks Gucci as hell, love it. But as you can see, immediately on your right arm, the pouches actually push your arms further out and it is quite a wide profile. Probably best if you're not going to be going prone or kneeling or in tight close quarters for like bushes and trees. This thing really does catch on a few things. And yes, I could take a lot of these pouches off, but then you're going to be restricting on where you put your magazines. So. Possibly for now, I think this would be better suited to Milsim when you're going to be taking more gear out with you because there's different things you can put in these pouches. And the other one, the new one, the Haley system, would probably be better for more close quarters, skirmishing and sites where you don't have to walk for miles and miles to get back to, uh, get back to HQ to resupply and get back out in the field again. I think for me personally, this, this kit will be absolutely ideal. It's kind of what I want. I want the maneuverability, but I still want to be able to take enough kit out with me so that I'm not going to be worried. As you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six 
and I could possibly get another one in the uh, the front pouch too. So you could take up to seven or eight mags out here, which is quite a lot. Yes, there's no room for the medical system and things like that, but you know, you can always take a couple of mags out with you. So I will be field testing this and I will give you my thoughts on actually using this, but so far I really am impressed with it and it's really, really easy to take off as I'm about to show you. The rifle magazine pouches accept AR type mags as well as AK 7.62 and 5.45 times 39 magazines. The multi mission pouches accept 911, Glock, SIG, MMP, XD, and other standard double or single stack pistol magazines, as well as many handheld lights and multi tools. The rig intentionally does not include a radio or dedicated full size medical pouch. So no matter the posture, essentials such as communications and medical kits can remain on the end user at all times. So I hope this video has been of some use to you. As I said, it's my journey along Airsoft and I'm hoping you guys will stick with me as we go through some of the kits, some of the weapons and all the challenges that I'm actually facing. I will actually be doing, I think, another video on the face protection thing because like I've been given advice by so many people Getting the goggles and the mouth and the face protection is one of the hardest aspects in this sport to get right, and it's, it's such a personal thing. Anyway, I've been Paraplays. I hope you've enjoyed this, looking at the Haley system. I shall see you in another Airsoft video coming, no doubt, very soon. Thumbs up, subscribe, and all that good stuff.